Welcome back to Horror Culture TV. I have an update for you guys. Hope you guys like the new attire. Actually, this is part of the update. So, as you can see, I got something. Boom. Wild eye. <laughs> I a, couldn't feel it on my face. I could feel, couldn't feel my face. I mean, I could touch it, but I can't feel it. The movie Blow. Remember that shit? But uh, yeah, man, I got to take this shit off. I got an update for you guys um, from the awesome people or person at Wild Eye. Um, I got a couple of other things, literally a couple, two more things. Um, but this is what I was really excited for, man. I got sent this by Wild Eye. I actually purchased this from their website. Um, and I'm excited it came in because... From what I got understood, I was looking around everywhere when I was looking for this, and it was it seemed to be out of out of print and quite expensive. And I didn't want to spend all that money on it, man. So I, I found this one at a decent price, I think. I don't remember how much I actually paid for it, but I bought it directly from Wild Eye from their website. So if it's available and you guys are interested in this, go ahead and check it out. See if there's still some out there. Um, I'm not 100% sure, man, but like I said, I bought this. I lucked out. I didn't send them an email or a message. Or anything like that and asked for it i just saw it available at the store on his website and i purchased it wasn't expecting to actually receive it because there you know i heard from several different people that it was out of print like i just said so i was like you know what if i don't get sent it most likely they're not going to charge me on, on my paypal account or whatever my bank account i won't see it but then i don't I, I didn't see it man but like as far as the statement i don't ever take care of my shit my wife takes care of that for me um i'm not a money man but Long story short, it came in today, man. And I'm quite fucking stoked about this. Because one of my good friends, one of my best friends in this horror community, has been blowing this shit up. Without further ado, I present to you the amazing, mythical, lost film everybody's been searching for. The House on Cuckoo Lane. I was going to say in, but I wanted to make sure I was reading this correctly. The House on Cuckoo Lane. Look at that fucking cover art, man. Let that shit look fucking phenomenal. Look at that shit. The head on the spikes reminds me kind of of the cover. Obviously, they have a whole corpse on it, right? But like uh, Cannibal Holocaust. But it kind of reminds me like that. Something similar to that. Man, I just can't get over that fucking cover art, man. Can't get over the fact they fucking had it in stock and sent it to me. Holy shit. This shows you how fucking badass these guys are. Or this guy. I don't know if it's a one-man army or if it's a whole army doing some army shit. But that is fucking amazing, man. I think I had pretty much already most of my shit picked out already for Wild Eye Week. But I think I'm about to fucking switch it up a bit, man. I think. Oh, shit. Hold on one second. I dropped something. All right. Back. I'm back for revenge. Nah, man. Uh, yeah, I think I'm about to switch something around so that way I could review this one, man. The way... I don't want to say it's been hyped up because I don't want to be disappointed and it be actually being overhyped or not. But I can't wait to check it out and review it. So uh, I'm going to go through a couple of other things that they sent me. Apart from the, which I already saw the mask, which I will be wearing when I go out. So that people can say, what the fuck is that? And I'll tell them some wild eye bitch. If you don't know, fucking recognize. Look that shit up. Go fucking buy their shit. And then you'll fucking know what it's about. That's right, damn it. Uh, yeah, I got some stickers, man. Ouija Geist looks pretty cool. Haven't seen the movie. Uh, Weird Fiction. I actually just reviewed it, and I think you guys already saw my review on Weird Fiction. WrestleManiac, which I just recently saw and did a review, but I haven't uploaded it as of when you guys see this video. Yeah. Uh, the Chainsaw, the Spanish Chainsaw Massacre. I remember I saw this one a while back, man. I had to end up, I think I had to buy like a, another edition that was like uh, from another country. Um, at that moment when I first, I think when this actually first came out, uh, the Spanish Chainsaw Massacre, it still wasn't available through all that. I remember liking it, but I don't know if I still have it or not. I, I, you guys remember I've talked about it a few times. I've had to sell some of my shit. I'm not proud of it, man, but it's the truth. Please don't hate me. Uh, next one is just straight up Wild Eye. A Wild Eye 
sticker to wild eye world in the world of wild eye and another film that i just saw and i think you guys already saw this this review if you guys are paying attention to the shit that i say girls just want to have blood because girls just want to have fucking blood awesome man fucking amazing thank you wild eye mr wild eye or people at wild eye thank you stoked about that fuck yeah man major score for me um like I said, I got two more items that I that came into the mail, came in through the mail. Uh, one of them is gonna be horror, the other one's not, but the other one's kind of action exploitation. I guess you could consider it exploitation. But uh, asking the first one's gonna be House by the Cemetery. Um, I don't have 4K, so this one I think it's just a Blu-ray, but on a 4K with a 4K transfer, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I actually got this for a decent price for what they're going for, you know. Everybody's paying like, I think that was a reverse cover art. Yeah, I think everybody's paying like 35, 40 bucks. I ended up buying this one for like, I think it was like 24, 22, something like that. I mean, it wasn't too bad. They did say that the slip cover was minty, but it got a little right here in the corner, man, which I'm not too, obviously, not too ecstatic about, not too happy about, but fuck it, dude, for the price. I thought it was, it's not that bad. I mean, it's not all banged up and beat to shit. So I've seen, I've had worse come in. So yeah, House by the Cemetery. And last but not least for this one, is going to be uh, Bronson, the uh, Triple Threat Collection, which is going to have Death Wish 2, 3, and 4. Yeah, 2, 3, and 4. I remember watching these when I was young, man, a long time ago with my parents. My dad used to love watching stuff like this, man, some exploitation. Not really exploitation, they were just into a lot of uh, action films and like that, stuff like that. Um, I remember watching Charles Bronson in a lot of films, man. Um, obviously the Death Wish series. So, can't wait to revisit them. I also picked this one up. I ended up getting it at auction for like, I think four bucks at the max. Still sealed, brand new, which I'm fucking, I'm very happy with this, man. Very, very happy. So yeah, that's my, um, my small but awesome update, man. Again, I can't thank you guys enough at, at, at uh, Wild Eye. Thank you guys. Thank you, sir. I don't know, like, again, if you're a one-man army, you're not. But thank you, man. Thank you, Wild Eye, for sending me this, man. And again, I've said this plenty of times. I will always support you guys, man. I mean, you guys have sent me some free stuff. And as you guys can see from my past videos, it's not just about the free stuff for me, man. I do go out of my way, purchase some of these some of these titles. And not just to show support, man, but because I love this shit. I love collecting. I love, I love having a lot of these, right? So that's what it's about. Like I would say, man, support independent horror to the maximum. And I mean that shit. So salute to you guys. Thank you for following me. And there's a contest going on soon. Or not going on soon. It's actually going on right now as we speak. Uh, go back through a couple of my videos and then you'll be able to find it. A few of my videos back backwards. Not, not not, to the future, to the past. And check it out if it's still active. I don't know. Obviously, you guys might see this later on. But if you do, fucking like, subscribe, join, comment on that particular video. And do a video if you want, man. Just have some fucking fun.